honest to God, laid on the floor of the office, at, like you see on TV, and was pounding, saying, I'm never going out of the house again. <laughs> do, 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 Cassidy Quinn. Hey guys, it's me, Cassidy Quinn, and today, we have a very special guest, my mother! Who doesn't really want to be on camera, so she's just gonna be like this. <laughs> this just shows how much you love me. I know, that's why it's good. <laughs> it's actually Valentine's Day while we're shooting this video. We're spending a very romantic day of me forcing my mother to be on camera with me. Yes, she talked and talked and wore me down. Basically, just the description of my whole life to you. I don't think I would say that. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> so today we're going to do the mom tag. Basically, somebody at some point came up with a list of questions to ask your mother. Finally, I have convinced my mother to do it. <laughs> you may be sorry. She may make me delete all this footage afterwards. Yes. She also refuses to actually sit next to me, so she's like sitting in the dark back there. I wanted to sit on the floor and just be a voice <laughs> from a pillow. Then people okay. wouldn't think I have a mom. Don't you want to show that you, you know, you're here, you're present in my life? That's true. I am proud that I birthed such a being. <laughs> First question okay. is, are you ready? I think so. What was I like as a child? Well, you know, I would say that you went through many phases. Some good, some not so good. You were a good kid. Kind of a funny <laughs> little kid, but you were a good kid. <laughs> Why was I a funny little kid? I never would have a th thought that you would be the, a person that would be up in front of, you know, that would like being on camera. That, that isn't what I would have pegged you as, as a kid. Even though, like, when we used to shoot those little videos of me and Max, my brother, playing musical instruments that we would send to our grandparents, I would like shove them out of the way and be like, it's my turn. That's true, <laughs> you did that. Oh, you were relentless with that. Your poor brother. Just like, get right in there in front of his face. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Max. That's why he won't shoot the sibling tag with me. He's afraid you'll push him out of the way. Yeah. What do you think of me making YouTube videos? Oh my gosh. I think this is the silliest thing in the whole world. I think it's so weird. I think this whole YouTube phenomenon is just weirder than Skaditch. But I love you and, you know, I'll support you in what <laughs> Thank you. What is something funny that I did when I was younger? <laughs> well, there are so many of them. Can I say bad words? Sure. Now, people don't believe that this was before you were two years old. You know what I'm going to tell. Oh, yep. But it really was before you were two years old. You were a very quick talker. You said your first word on your 11-month birthday. Really? And you came out with Elliot. That was our dog. Elliot. Yep. And then you never stopped after that. We were sitting at the dinner table, you, your dad, and I, and you were in your little high chair, and all of a sudden you just looked over at your dad and you said, Dad, you're a f***ing pig. And your dad's mouth dropped. And I, I said, what did you say? And you said, Dad, you're a f***ing pig right out there and I hurried and put a book in front of my face because I was laughing so hard <laughs> and your dad just looked over at me and said Cindy what nice things you must say about me when I leave the house and I said to dad I have probably said both of those words but never together she put them together on her own I'm a thinker yeah what is a weird habit of mine I'm thinking of things, weird things you do, but I can't think of habits. Your habit of, like, not picking up your clothes off the freaking floor, especially in the bathroom, which drives me crazy. But what did I do today? I just took a shower. Where are the clothes? Serious? They're right there. Yes! Adulting! If you had to rename your daughter, uh -huh. what would you name her? You know what I always liked was Paige. Hmm. And the other one I really liked, but Dad didn't like either, was Delaney. Delaney. If I was a boy, what were you gonna name me? Oh, that was our really hard one. The boy names, we just could not figure out. Like when Max was born, it was hard. 
for multiple reasons other than just the name. <laughs> Dad really liked Joshua and I didn't want those J names. I would have loved to have a Cortland. Hmm. And then you could be, you know, sporty and be court or you could be like a lawyer and be a Cortland. But Dad didn't a like lawyer that. in court. That would be a little cheesy. I don't think I'd become a lawyer if my name was Court. Judge Court. Judge Court. <laughs> Residing. There was no hope of me ever becoming a judge. Maybe if I was a guy. Well, you're a good arguer. That's for sure. <laughs> <I'm just kidding. laughs> I represent that. Learn from the best. Oh, what is one thing you wish I would do? That is so easy. Really? What I wish you would do is start playing the piano again. That's easy. Oh, that's not easy. Do you see room for a piano in my apartment? You just have to get one of those little keyboard things. Not even you... room for that. Oh, <laughs> yes, there is. And you could sit right there every day and look out at your view, practicing. Oh, would I be a happy mother? Wouldn't that be lovely with all my free time? Mm -hmm. Good luck. There you go. Maybe you should adopt another daughter so that you can convince to play piano again. Maybe you should teach one of your dogs. What is something I do that annoys you? Oh, well I would say... Light bulb, ding! When you really laugh so hard at when your dad is just being ridiculous. I just always <laughs> want to say, Quinn, stop egging him on. He's funny. He makes stupid jokes like I do. Where would you like to see me in 10 years? Keep making this face after every question because I'm scared of what you're gonna say. In 10 years? Okay, yeah. Let's see, you'll be 36. I, oh. I would like to see you in Seattle, or I wouldn't mind if you still lived in Portland. I really like this city. And I'd like you to have like maybe a five year old. A five year old? Maybe even twins. Oh, that would be so much fun. Oh, that stresses and, me. Out. And that you're still doing exactly what you love. Like if you want to be working, that's good. And if you have chosen to stay home with your baby, that's what you're doing. And that you have a really, really nice, good husband and that you're doing okay. I could stay home with my babies and force them to make YouTube videos with me. Yes. Well, you know what? Okay, I'm not such a fan of the babies on YouTube. They don't have any say in whether they're brought all over the place, so I'd kind of rather you waited until they were older. Mm-hmm. But I get that. Anyway, we'll deal with them I when just, they get here. I want you to be happy and fulfilled. That's so I nice. Want. Thank you. That's when were you most proud of me? Really and truly, I mean, I'm not being that smart ass here. I would say <laughs> I've had really a lot of moments when I was really, really proud of you. The first one I can think of was that very first belt test when you guys were doing Taekwondo. <laughs> so little, oh my God. That was incredible. This little tiny girl up there doing her, yes sir. No, sir. But, you know, recently, when you anchored that show the other night and I got to sit and watch you, that was incredible. Thanks. How was I in school? Oh, you were such a good student. Really, from the get-go. Except for when you were in first grade and you were kind of a mean little stink pot to your friends. That's the only... But you never... Oh, gosh, you were always a really good student. There were a few times where I was so stressed out about tests, usually history tests, I think, that you would actually call in uh, uh, sick for me so that I could take the day off and take the test later. Well, you were so wigged out about, because that school you went to was so insane about how much homework and you'd be crying and, oh, you know, that you had to get this done. And I was like, you don't have to get it done. Get a freaking C, I don't care. This makes me sound like such a loser crying about my history test. <laughs> your best cry was when you got, when they cut your hair too short that one time though. That was Oh the best. gosh. And I was oh my God. 18. <laughs> I don't think little. you were 18, but you were at least I was 16. about to go to college. That's really? why I was so mad about it because I was about to go to college for my freshman year and I went and got this haircut at Supercuts. Why did I think that's a good idea? I don't know. And they cut it too <laughs> short. I thought I looked like a baby. And I was, I thought no one was gonna like me at school because my hair was ugly. She, honest to God, laid on the floor <laughs> of the office at, like you see on TV 
and was pounding, saying, I'm never going out of the house again. <laughs> and I would try and get away from her. I would walk into another room and close the door and say, do not follow me. And she would follow me and keep going, Mama, what am I going to do? I can never do this. And I'd go, go away. Oh, go, that was a funny day. Oh, were you like laughing on the inside and trying not to laugh at me? I was laughing on the outside too because oh, I was going, this, how is nice so, of you. this is so stupid, Quinn. There's nothing you can do about it. If I laughed, then that made you get worse crying because then you were mad because I was laughing. But I was just thinking, well, if you don't like me laughing, Mike, don't you go away from me. <laughs> but you had to stay right by me and just keep wailing. <laughs> <It's hilarious. laughs> what is the worst thing I have ever done? Worse in terms of being mean or worse in terms of like legally? I can't think of any of those really. All those times I was in jail, it's hard to, you know, separate <laughs> which one was the worst, I don't know. I'm trying to think of when I was really mad at you. I mean, the thing that is coming to mind is that giant fight over the dress with the neckline. <laughs> That's school. the worst thing I've ever done school. was buy a dress well, that was too you, low cut? When you yelled and screamed and would go in the, your room and slam the door, oh, you were so mad at me. I mean, we had multiple fights about that. It went on for several weeks. I hate you! I don't want to the door and I'm sorry you know I don't think you ever did anything that was like so horrible good thanks I mean you know the time that you got expelled at school you didn't I get expelled I got suspended for suspended. one day and it was so stupid what would you change if you could raise me again well you know I think you're I think you're such a cool person now that I would you know, it's tempting to say, I don't think I'd do anything. <laughs> I would have made you stay in piano lessons longer, maybe. Back to the piano lessons. Yeah. I might have your hair different because you give me so much trouble about how oh, weird yeah. your hair was. You made me have a bowl cut with a rat tail. Loved your tail. If I had to do it over again, I would take you to a little, a salon and I would have them give you some cute little bob or something but you just didn't have that much hair and it was so fine and so thin that it w didn't really wouldn't do anything. But do you remember that's that? the only thing that you could come up with? The rat tail? I love those tails. I, I know still you love did. Those tails. You have Max's in a book somewhere. Mm -hmm. People thought I was a boy. I loved Max's rat that's tail. That's why I had Nobody to start liking the color boy. pink. Are you kidding me? Oh, you were. We went to ski lessons and people asked me if I was a boy or a girl. Really? It was a bad haircut. Well, that's all the questions. Thank but you, Mom. But now I get to ask you a question. Oh, you do? One, what is the first thing that comes to your mind that most mad you've ever been at me? I don't know if it was really mad or just annoyed with you, but when I wanted to buy a prom dress and you told me that I could have $50. <laughs> so many people were spending like $200 on a prom dress. I went shopping with one of my friends and she was trying on all these expensive dresses. I ended up buying a $70 prom dress. I thought I did a good job. Mom was pissed at me and told her I owed her $20. If you think back to all your childhood and everything else, what do you wish I had done? Oh. Well, I always say I wish you had let me do ice skating lessons so I could be an Olympic figure skater. Or, I wish we could have lived closer to any relatives. Yeah. Like all the other families in Idaho, Utah, New York. Mm hmm. So you were kind of had a closer relationship with some of those mm -hmm. people. I get that. I get that. I wanted to move us to Canada when you started high school. Oh, but yeah. No. That would have been good too because I would love dual citizenship. But and an never, escape plan. But you never could have gotten dual citizenship. Well, I could have met a Canadian husband. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> but it could have been an escape, you know. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. In case the country... Who knows? Who it knows what's going to happen? It still could happen. You could still have to come and visit your parents in Canada. <laughs> okay, well, done? thank you, Mom. Thank you for Yay, participating. We're done. We're Mostly done. willingly. Done. I love so you. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Thanks Valentine's for spending Day it doing this with me. She's the best. No, she is. No, you are. No, you oh, are. No, 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 no. No, you, no. No, you hang up. <laughs> yeah. Okay, bye. bye. See you on Sunday. Bye. For a weekly vlog that will probably have Mom in it. Oh, oh. No. <laughs> no? Oh. <laughs> Bye! Bye! <laughs>
Were you surprised when you came and visited me this time and my apartment was clean? I'm not gonna say the word surprised. Here's what I'm gonna say. I was so excited and it just felt so good to come in here and I said to myself, maybe she's got it. At least while you're in town.